The original Scooby-Doo was really reflective of the cultural landscape in the late 60s and 70s, and we wanted to do something that reflected our modern times. My name is Mindy Kaling, and I do the voice for Velma Dingley. Charlie Grandy, uh, showrunner. I think I was, and Charlie also, really wanted it to be legitimately scary with a really good mystery. I think we are used to now seeing stories with like young protagonists, like in really heightened, stakesy situations. And we wanted to put Velma in the situations and that were really scary and have her triumph and struggle. That's why it's an adult show, because we wanted the crimes to be scary and have there to be really danger. This show really began as a love letter to all of Scooby-Doo and our own personal connections to it. So as fans of the show, we tried to create a show that fans would also really like and, you know, really focusing on updating the comedy and the horror for adults who've grown up with the franchise. We're so lucky to have such an amazing voice cast on the show. And I think, you know, the original Scooby-Doo was really reflective of the cultural landscape in the late 60s and 70s. And we wanted to do something that reflected our modern times. When you're casting, you put together a dream list of people that you want. And we actually got the people that we wanted. Everyone seemed really excited. And, and that's been not just with the with the main four, um, it just all the way down the line. And I get to work with actors that I've been dreaming of working with. I mean, Charlie had such a great notion for casting like Yvonne Orji, who I absolutely love as a performer in Her Coming Insecure, Fortune Feimster, who we've worked with on the Mindy Project, Ming-Na Wen, just like a really great group of comedians. And it was just awesome that, you know, people who are so busy, but, you know, made the time to do this. And it also feels like we're in such a golden era of teen dramas and they just keep coming and it, they keep finding new ways to breathe life into this format. And it was really exciting to try and be a part of that. I hope fans love the show and Charlie and I, and, you know, everyone who works in the show is such a fan of Velma Dinkley. And we hope that they enjoy a story that's centered on her adventures.